That is one big ass art and, and, and eater. Whoa. Do I really want to go through this door? That started to open. Something slammed it shut. And locked it and ran off. You know, I know how uh, Brad feels. You watch him play, and it's easy to watch. And it's fun. But to actually be playing the game, you know that you're not really in this world. It's only a video game. But it's kind of hard. Not to feel the some of the emotions as if you're really here. And you know, I wish the Rad Brad, Brad Colburn, would play this game. He talked about it, he talked about it. I understand he doesn't want to burn out like he did. Or nearly burn out like he did, uh... The previous year when he just did so many walkthroughs at once. But he made such a big deal about playing this game. It'd be nice if he did. Since he played the first Amnesia and it was a great playthrough. I'm working on uh, doing it myself. Everybody who's watching this video, go to the Rad Brad T H E R A D B R A D and tell them that uh, Carl of the channel C J Cogswell. Would appreciate it if you would play Amnesia, a machine for pigs, as he said he was going to. I understand not wanting to do too many playthroughs at once and burn it out. I can feel his pain, trust me. But, um, have I tried this door? This is the door, I think. Yeah, it is. The transi tr transition does into this chapter. Um, he needs to you play at least one horror game now and again. And this one would be a good one. He started his channel with a lot of horror stuff. And while it's good to do uh, the new stuff, especially the popular stuff, he needs to do classic games as well. And uh, keep your promises. I know that's hard, Brad. I have trouble myself. Getting all these games play play um, that I've started, and now I've got to finish them. And uh, I have so many games started. I think to myself, how am I going to finish anytime soon? And I am totally lost. There's got to be something I'm missing. Something that has changed.
something that has changed. Huh. Do you see that? Scratch marks. Why is that red? Is that blood? Oh my god. Told you. Oh no, that's... I think that's the bedroom the wife was in. Didn't she bleed to death? There's all this red. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? We're on the other side. This machine is really interwoven in this house. Here goes guys, here goes guys, here we go, in any case. What have I done? I get that belt moving? Oh man. What the hell is that? You hear that buzzing? Oh, you know what? Whatever machine I started, it's taking electricity from the uh, power, which is affecting the lights. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was not open. That was fucking not open, man. And I don't remember that blood being there, or that stain. Hands are bleeding. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? Fuck. Um, if that door was locked and that's the room where she died, now this blood is out here and look at this streak of blood. This really strong streak of blood. Oh my god. It stops right here. Oh shit, I don't want to open this door. What the hell crawled out of that room?
to hell. Where did all this flood come from? So I'm going to hide behind this bar and I'm going to end the commentary here for this uh, second episode. If you're enjoying yourself, if you're scared shitless and want to see more, hit that like button because that's the best way for you to tell me you want more and uh, I'll bring it to you. So uh, thanks. See you next episode.